Hey everybody, it's October and it's Halloween time, which I call it Samhain because that's the original name for the holiday. And it's technically um, called uh, Sabbath as well, but basically um, in ancient times people would go to their neighbors and like ask for something and do something for them and exchange. But it also has a very dark, twisted thing about it uh, from what I read about it and seen in documentaries that um, some of them, if they didn't get something, they would murder them. There are some cases out there, so. Uh, this is sort of um, Halloween shopping slash regular shopping haul. So, we're starting out with the haul from Target, which is just regular stuff. So, I found these jeggings, which look like leather, and they're repackaged. So, they were on sale for like $4. So, instead of paying $16 something, I think it was actually $16, I paid $11.21 for them. And I'm not sure if they're going to fit me, but they look like this. I'm trying to lose weight, as some people know. But they stretch nice, so hopefully they'll fit me. And I'm planning on wearing these for Halloween costume. Even though I'm not really leaving the house, I do hand out candy. Um, that's sort of my thing. I help decorate, because Halloween's my favorite holiday. My dad doesn't like it. But it's my favorite holiday, and we've been doing really cool, awesome Halloween decorations on Halloween just before the trick-or-treaters come out so <laughs> it's everyone really likes what we do and they can't wait every year for it to see what new we have because we have this black cat that's like the talk of the neighborhood and it moves and it has lights and make noises so it's really cool but anyway they look like leather pants which is so cool and I could actually wear them on the bike even if I need an extra pair of pants to wear but, because we're allowed to wear jeans at work, and because I lost a good 11 pounds since I bought my last, well, not 11 pounds, but maybe like 8 pounds since I bought my last jeans, um, I went and bought a size smaller in a different type, uh, not the same brand, but different type. These are the jeans, um, Ava and... Vivi skinny mm, something. They're skinny jeans from the looks of it. But um, it was buy one, get one 50% off. And they are $29.99. Which is awesome. So I was able to find two in the same size. And I tried on one. And lo and behold, they fit! So, thank God that I actually found something that fit me. But I also found, in the clearance, by the way, I like shopping clearance because you can find the greatest things for a lot lower prices, is the see-through black Massimo um, sweater, which... It was originally $19.99. I got it for $13.98. It was 30% off. So that was... This is just awesome. I got shirts to go underneath it. Because it's see-through. And it's getting colder out. And we're in Minnesota. You need warm clothes. <laughs> but... This is the other pair of the pants. Same color. Same size. Everything. It's one bag. I got two bags from that place. Also got socks for work, which I don't remember how much they were. They were like, I think six something. But um, uh, you can wear neutral colors at work, but I tend to sometimes wear multicolored socks and hope to God they don't find out. Because <laughs> that's just me. I like wearing colors. I like dressing up and stuff, and you'll find out more in a minute about that. But I got six pairs for like six or so dollars. Um, most of these shirts are like 270 so they're really nice. They're all mom 
I can't say it. It starts with an M. I'll put the name brands down below, of course. But this is one of them. They're all basically the same shape, but different pat uh, colors. So this is like a brown and a white, which I like. And of course we got burnt orange. So this is burnt orange and yeah, it's the same price. That's that one. I got a red one as well. And I liked it because I could wear that underneath and it's a solid tone. And then I got baby blue. Baby blue and white. I love it. And um, I'm actually going to let you know I'm really big into steampunk. Uh, I don't have really anything, but I do have some stuff I just bought, which is kind of Halloween-y, so it can break rather easily, but I'm thinking by buying the cheap stuff, I can find out how to make it and do it myself. And I'm actually going to be doing a DIY project with some of these items, so, for Halloween, because I am doing, because this is Walmart, by the way, I got this all at Walmart. I am going as a steampunk fairy in a black and white type. I mean, not black and white, but black and red type. These are the wings. These are the inside of the rings. It's very easy. You can make these. I just got to figure out where to buy the frame of them. But you could probably make them for the same price I paid for them, which was like $10. I think it not ten dollars. They're four ninety four. Scratch that. I should have bought another set. I should have bought the black one as well. I could have gotten two costumes. So they're about basically two of everything. Well, besides the hand stuff, I'll explain why. Um, this is the uh, one side. I think this is actually the inside. I'm not sure. I think they put the wings. I think they screwed up when they did this. I'm not sure. I think they did. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> but those are the wings. They're nice and glittery. So I'm just, I have glitter everywhere. But I find it very hard to find fuller style hats anywhere besides on Halloween. And $4.99 again for both of them. So I got. Two. Oh my god, and they're both different. How sweet is that? They're both different. One has more of a fuller height hat type, which is uh, more of a curve to it. And the other one is literally like a basic hat and square, kind of have those corners on top, so... It's actually kind of cool. And it fits nicely. I'm not sure which one I want to wear on Halloween, though. Ooh, that one fits a lot better. I like that one. But I'm planning wearing these more for every day. They both have a little ribbon on them. Which you can kind of see you from the shine. It's like a black ribbon, which I'm going to be changing that. That's part of my DIY project. But I also got... These 374, um, uh, I'm gonna have to take it out so you can see her. It's kinda. But they're arm things, which I am obsessed with these, and they're kind of like the ones I actually do already have, which I do have a, it's kind of lacy. It's like, I think it's a red. But I really like these arm things. You slip your thumb through, and your pinky on this one, my other one, it's just dumb, but they look absolutely awesome, and I think I'm just going to wear them for the rest of the video, <laughs> if I can get it off the thing. I have them on right. I hope I do. 
but this is what they are. They're kind of cool. I like them. Um, I like these things. It make perfect sense with what I'm doing. And these are actually knee high. Um, and I got two colors because I'm going for that black and red theme for this costume. So they're from. Well, let's see. Let's find the on. Where did the go? They're all. These items are all from Wonderland. Uh, uh, costumes is what it is. So. This is kind of what they look like, sort of, when they're on, but I have a red pair, which they have netting, and I really like netting, um, and I also got the black ones, which are basically, I kind of snapped it, I don't care, the same thing, but I'm taking them off, by the way. That's basically what they are. They're pretty simple and easy. And I can't wait for Halloween so I can wear it. Even though I could probably get away with wearing this a regular day. And I'm probably going to um, wear steampunk stuff to our adult Christmas that we do. Which I will be doing a video on that outfit. And if we do the formal tea party this year. I don't think we went last year. I think we might have gone... We might have not. I'm um, also going to be doing a steampunk theme as well. And I'm probably going to be wearing this hat to both of those, which is going to be totally DIY. But, we also have four, four, non the four from um, something, something. I can't, I, guess, I can't pronounce it correctly. Steampunk goggles! Yes, I am uh, um, goggles, and I'm actually going to, um, they're really extremely cheap. The other pair kind of, this part kind of came undone on me because I accidentally dropped it, but I didn't break it. But I am going to show you what I will be doing, because I actually see this a lot in videos and stuff. I've seen, oh, I put it on the wrong side. Because I put it where the tag is. Alright. So basically, let me take this one off and show you. So that's basically what's going to be going on it. Um, I'm probably going to have to do something to. Because this one's a little big on my head. I should have looked, make sure I got both the same. But I don't. Oops. Because this one doesn't really fit my head. My head's too small. But that's basically what I'm going to be doing. But I'm going to be changing the ribbon out. And maybe doing a little something else. I was going to... I was thinking about buying these little heart winged pins. But they were silver. They weren't bronze or anything. So I can't do that. I would have to paint them. And they would just shine. So, um... That's basically my big old tall and I'm going to show you quick what I mean about what happened after I picked it up and was walking around looking at stuff to go with it because I couldn't decide I was looking at a skirt but they're very easy to fix believe it or not this is what happened to them so they're very easy to fix. They just have a little hole right here that you can push a little plastic piece in, which I may be changing out the plastic pieces for something else. Um, kind of depends on what I decide to do. And if I can somehow figure out how to get the actual, um, lens out. I'm going to try and change it for a different type of lens. Ooh, I didn't even put that in wrong. Oops. Take back out and put it in right. <sighs> uh, 
but I want to change out these lines, put more rose color in it. But another thing you can do with steampunk goggles is just like wear them like that. You put them like actually wear them like this, or you can just leave them right there, which I saw, and which is what made me fall in love with steampunk and uh, Bad Wolf's music video of Drowning Beautiful, uh, which is Kota Wang, who's in The Voice this year. It's season 9 of The Voice, and she's in it, and I love her. I'm a subscriber to her YouTube channel, both of them, <laughs> Steam Life and Steam Fairy TV. Um, <coughs> pardon me, I have a cold. And I'm also a subscriber to her band's channel, Bad Wolf. And it's actually kind of what drove me to the style because it's really cool and you can make it really girly looking and stuff. And it actually fits me more. But that was my haul from the plate from where I went. I'm going to quickly put that on. Much better. But... I really liked it, uh, shopping with my mom, my little sister guy or something, um, but I had fun. So I got some stuff for work, and then I got my Halloween stuff and DIY projects, so I'm really excited about that, and I can't wait to, uh, have fun with all of it, so, as always, blessed be.